Hey guys, Jake here with Order Systems. I just wanted to do a quick video today going over the process to integrate KNX with Elan. Let's get into it. KNX configuration that wants to be completely done before we start integrating it into Elan. And you can see my simple little project here. I've just got a four channel dimmer, which is what we're using to control the lights today that I'm integrating into Elan. And in my example here, this capacitive thermostat is, uh, is, is acting as a, as a keypad on the, uh, on the KNX bus. And I've got buttons on my keypad that turn on and off and adjust the dim value for the first two channels on my dimmer. So I've got two lights that we'll be pulling into the Elan system. What I want to do here is to take note of the group addresses that you're using in your KNX system. Um, in, again, in my example, I'm using zero slash zero to define any lighting control uh, group addresses. So that's on and off, um, the brighter and darker control and uh, percentage value uh, control for each of my two channels uh, and then zero slash one gives me all of my lighting status so this is the the feedback from the actual dimmer module itself um, this is sort of confirmation feedback that Alan can use to you know update its its uh, GUI and the position of the sliders and all that sort of good stuff so I've got on and off and percentage value for each of my two channels as status feedback that we can pull into the system so once you've set up your KNX system and you confirm that that's all working as expected, you then need to get yourself one of these. This is the TAPCO SIM IP IP KNX data server. And this is the device that will act as the bridge between your KNX bus and your IP network where your LAN controller sits. It's a simple device. It's just got um, KNX uh, twisted pair connections on one side and an RJ45 for your uh, connection to the LAN on the other. Get that wired up onto your bus and onto your IP network. It will pick up a DHCP IP address by default um, and we can configure that to be to be static for in order to control it from the LAN side. We'll want that to be on a static IP address. You do not need to do any configuration from the KNX side though. It just, it, it has a default individual address of 15.15.255. Um, leave it there. Just verify that nothing else is using that address on your bus before you connect it up. Um, but you can just uh, you can leave that as the default settings. Um, just give it a static IP address or map it in your in your router. The LAN configuration side of things, I am just in the lighting tab here. Uh, we're obviously going to add the first two channels of that KNX dimmer as dimmable lights in a LAN. Um, so I'm on my lighting tab here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click up on communication devices and add new communication device. So the driver for the TAPCO SIM IP is, is right there in the list. So we'll go ahead and add that. And there it is. We just need to give it the, uh, the IP address that you've, uh, that you've set that to. So then we come down to lighting controllers. Uh, again, right click here and we go add new lighting controller. Uh, again, it's just a case of selecting the TAPCO option in the list there and hitting install. Uh, now that's automatically bound to the uh, the comms device that I set up a minute ago, this uh, Tapco SIM IP. Um, so that's great, but uh, you might need to might need to select that from the drop down there if that hasn't done that for you. Uh, but that's all looking good, and we've got our status saying everything is okay. So uh, just apply that, uh, and then once that's applied, we can expand this out. And underneath here, we've got our actual lighting devices. So here we can hit add lighting device. And we've got a few options here, depending on what exactly you're pulling into Elan from the KNX world. Uh, there are a few different configuration options you've got. Um, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull in this KNX dimmer. Uh, and in fact, we're gonna do two of them. So let me just do the second one as well. Um, and for now, we'll just call these KNX dimmer one and KNX dimmer too. Now, the only thing we need to uh, configure from this point is the group addresses that you made note of earlier. So on my KNX dimmer one, I am looking for the group address that controls the on off. 
And if we just go through the list here quickly, actually, so I've got the uh, the first parameter is switch control. Um, the second parameter is switch status. And then we've got brightness control and brightness status. And then we've got relative dim at the bottom. And over on the right hand side here, this is key to take note of, we've got the uh, the type and this relates to the uh, the data type on the KNX side of things. The uh, the group addresses will have a particular data type associated with them, and we just want to make sure that this is matched up. So, for example, the brightness control, the type of data that it's looking for, is a percentage value, not to 100. So, whatever group address we put in there needs to make sure that group address relates to a percentage value. For example, um, so I'll just go through and populate mine real quick. That's me, just my mind. Go. that's all uh, that's all configured so lastly I'm just going to uh, assign each of these lighting devices a location so that they show uh, so that they show up properly in my interface uh, I'm just going to stick them in my office here um, and apply that now check this out if I switch over to the Alan interface now and I go to the lighting tab and then just pull up the office here. You can see the two KNX dimmers we've just added. And I can turn them on and off, and I can verify that that's turning the lights on and off in the room. Um, I've also got dimming control on both circuits, so I can specify a percentage value. And the really cool thing here is that this is actually two-way control. So if I were to go to my KNX keypad and switch it off, you can see I'm still getting that feedback through to the LAN interface as well as to the current state of the dimmer module, which is really cool. There you go. I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, go ahead and sling them in the comments and we'll do our best to, uh, to come back to you. We do also run training courses on both Elan and KNX. So if you think, think you might like to learn a bit, bit more about this sort of stuff, then by all means, go ahead and check those out. You can find all the details on ordersystems.co.uk. Just head on over to the training courses section on the website there. Give this video a, a like if you feel so inclined. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.